Nova Scotia Power is undertaking an intelligent feeder pilot project where we're installing 10 power walls in customers' homes and a grid scale battery at one substation. This pilot project will be one of the first times that we have battery storage technology connected to the grid. Really the overall objective of storage is to act as backup energy in the case of an outage or help shift some of their peak demand to off-peak times where we can use cleaner energy. Installing this battery in one of our substations here in Elmsdale will allow us to study many use cases that we want to explore as part of the future of using energy storage. By doing a pilot project, we can test a lot of scenarios before we roll it out to our larger grid and customer base. I think everybody in my generation knows Tesla. The power wall was something I, I hadn't heard about. Um, researched the solar roof a little bit, but then, uh, yeah, with the power wall, I was, I was definitely intrigued. The process of installing a Tesla power wall is actually quite simple. The power wall is connected to the grid through the customer's electrical service. With the apps that Tesla provides, uh, the usage day-to-day -day is really simple. The ability to monitor their home usage is really making them think more about how they're using electricity in their home. And I think it's going to make them more energy efficient. Nova Scotia Power has invested quite a bit over the last few years in adding wind to our system as a clean, renewable generation source. But it's also intermittent. Tesla Power Walls and Tesla Power Packs installed on our system will enable us to store wind energy when it's generated and use it at a later time. I travel all over Atlantic Canada and just seeing the amount of wind farms within Nova Scotia is an encouraging sign just in itself. So then, you know, paired with the battery power walls, I, th I think it's fantastic. Nova Scotia Power is really excited to be involved in a pilot project like this. This type of project isn't really being done in other jurisdictions. So we're learning as we go, but we've got a great team around us. It excites a lot of different areas of our business, customer solutions team, our transmission distribution engineering teams, and our control center. Everybody's working together to see if a new technology like storage is a good fit for our system and a good fit for our customers. Innovation is important to Nova Scotia Power uh, because we want to provide the best services to our customers and uh, leveraging the newest technology is a great way for us to do that. Over the last 10 years, we have made significant progress in creating a cleaner Nova Scotia. Adopting new technology like storage will help us get even further.